What's going on, everybody? Uh, today, we just did a 55 mile run. We're out at some really good grounds and we're doing some diving. I already had a little bit of diving done and I kind of screwed my ear a little bit. So I'm back to being Bodie and they're in the water right now, but we're, we're absolutely killing the fish. There's a lot of big groupers out here today. Um, we've already, we've only been diving for a couple hours here and we've already practically filled my six foot fish bag. But anyways, we're gonna keep diving and um, stay tuned to see the footage. All right, welcome back in the water, everyone. So um, on this day, it started off really slow, to be honest. We weren't seeing too many fish around. And I jumped in on this spot and I figured, you know, um, whenever you shoot something, it sort of brings, brings everything out. And uh, I spot this, this, it's not a, not a big hogfish by any means, not even a nice one by any means, but just a shooter fish to start the day. And I sort of made my way over to it and gave it a little shot. And what it did was just open this spot wide open and just, it just came to life. There were groupers popping out of every hole, a whole bunch of snappers swimming around and it really got this day started. And you know, this fish I typically would not shoot. I really did think it was bigger than it was. I kind of pride myself on not shooting very, very small hogfish, but um, I'm kind of glad I did shoot it still to this day because it just really got this spot going and there were just fish coming out of every way. Just like this one right here, the first grouper that popped out was this big Nassau grouper. And David went down and laid a shot into it. And right as he shot it, I saw a nice black grouper take off. I saw a yellowfin grouper pop out. Yeah, yeah you can see I still have that hogfish in my hand, but this is David Thank coming up right. with the first big grouper of the day. Fucking right. You see that black too? It's the best sound so it big Nassau and another black in there. And um, that black went into the hole and I knew he wasn't going anywhere. I told everybody to keep watching him, but this yellowfin grouper swam off away from the spot and I decided to follow this yellowfin grouper and put a shot into it before we we lose it and uh, it was at a really weird angle way in this small hole and um, it's kind of hard to get my poles here in a position to shoot it because of that sea fan but I got it around and was able to line up and place a shot center body into it which I really thought was going to hold but you'll see here it, it holds for a while but we, it ends up ripping out but you'll see right here my buddy Nick goes down there to try get it out and ends up pulling my pole spear out and you'll see right here I'm making a back dive to go and try and land another shot in this fish there's sharks all over the place and um, I look up and just see this thing take off out of the hole and you can tell that I sort of spine the fish because he's going all crazy and can't swim properly and uh, I just quickly put whatever shot I had in it before a shark came over and grabbed it and uh, it ended up working out perfectly. And um, literally right after I tossed that grouper in, I told my brother to give me this flashlight because I knew where that black grouper originally holed up and I decided I was gonna go down there and look around with the light. And actually the first hole I checked in, I saw a piece of the fish and I moved over to a different hole where I thought I'd see his head and he was just staring right at me and I placed an awesome shot right in his cheek.
can see here these sharks started to get a little a little bit more feisty because we were shooting a lot of fish in their faces and we ended up actually staying on this spot for a lot longer because some more big groupers swam in a giant dog snapper swam in some muttons were all swimming around and i think we were able to get one or two more fish off this spot before the sharks were just unbearable and i decided it wasn't really worth trying to keep landing fish off of it and we just moved on but right here this is david going down on a giant dog snapper this thing was huge and he ends up hitting it with the sling and it takes off under the big part of the ledge and um you'll see here i end up doing the first back dive on it to try and locate this fish and i couldn't find where it was and um, we did end up noticing a blood trail and finding David's shaft and the fish not on it anymore. But you'll see later on, we did end up finding this fish again. Not to mention that while trying to find this fish, there were two nice black groupers in here, a nice Nassau. But we were just mainly focused on finding this one wounded fish before focusing on anything else. And after a few dives, we ended up locating it. And this is David down here putting a shot into it and actually landing the fish on the same dive. And you'll see all these sharks come in and um, it gets a little, a little hectic. And when we get to the surface, I don't know what happened. It, I think David dropped his GoPro and started focusing more on the GoPro instead of holding on to the fish. And the fish kind of just slips out of his hand and we end up having to do a whole nother mission trying to locate this fish again. Fuck yes! David! You gangster! Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? Are you good? And I'm still not too sure what exactly happened, but I was more focused on the fact that I thought he was blacking out, so I was more worried about that and making sure he was okay, but... After I was, I made sure that he was okay, I decided that I was going to go and look for this fish and I ended up finding it on my first dive. And you can see here, there's just sharks everywhere swimming in, in and out of the ledge, going all underneath where this fish was and I figured I needed a few people to watch my back when I was making this dive up inside of here so they stayed put and watched over me and I um, located this fish and ended up getting it out in one dive. Don't know what happened to my first shot, I think I just kind of slid off the body laying down flat but I loaded back up and hit it again. Nice one David just shot. I'm currently out of the water because my ears are in deathly pain for some reason. So I'm taking a little break and I'll get back in soon, but boys are still getting it done. Well, I'm in a bit of a dilemma here. The, the longer I sit here on this boat, the worse my ear is starting to feel and the bigger the headache I'm starting to get about my ear. So I really think that I might have to end my day off, unfortunately, and just film the boys. Wow. Good Don't job, Nick. Fucking... <laughs> what a guy. Oh, yeah. Another nice Nassau. Toaster's first fish of the day. Throw him up here. There we go. And um, I can't exactly speak for whatever was going through David's head, so I'm kind of just going to let the rest of his clips I added in here just play out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and just enjoy the rest of the footage.
Look at the size of these bad boys. Big mangroves. Trying to get a whole bunch of them.